cargo protection analysis. Which suspension is the right choice for your fleet? Decades ago, many fleets began the transition from traditional spring ride trailer suspensions to air ride. This was largely driven by fleets desiring added cargo protection, a perceived reduction in overall wear and tear on their trailer fleet, and the need to increase their bottom line. More recently, however, the financial case for moving back to spring ride trailer suspensions has begun to make more sense. Industry testing has repeatedly shown that air ride suspensions offer greater ride quality and cargo protection, but only in limited situations. At SAF Holland, we have always taken a scientific approach to analyzing ride quality based on load utilization. To understand our approach, it is important to examine the two ways cargo is typically damaged and how the suspension's ride quality factors in. Cargo is often damaged through impact loads, such as hitting a pothole or striking a curb. Impact loads are high-energy events that take place over a short period of time. In such an event, it's critical for a suspension to absorb this energy. Or, cargo can be damaged when exposed to damaging low frequencies over an extended period of time. For example, driving on aging pavement or driving with tires or rims out of balance. Long-term exposure to low frequencies can damage electronic component shipments or cause products like potato chips to settle out. In these low energy inputs, it is critical for the suspension to isolate these vibrations. In both the high energy and the low energy events, the cargo is damaged when the energy from the trailer floor is transferred into the cargo. So the suspension needs to be able to minimize the energy transfer to reduce the risk of cargo damage. Using precision measuring equipment, SAF Holland has recorded vibration levels at the trailer floor with varying load conditions inside the trailer. Levels were recorded for each load condition along an exact 38-mile route at the same driving speeds. We conducted these tests with a steel leaf spring and then an air ride suspension for comparison. Using this vibration data, the energy transferred from the trailer floor into the cargo was calculated across the 0 to 100 Hz frequency range. Calculating the total area underneath the graph shows us the total amount of energy transferred into the cargo from the high energy and low energy events experienced during each test run. The final results allow us to scientifically evaluate the ride quality of different suspensions with separate trailer load conditions. The first suspension tested was a traditional steel leaf spring in a closed spaced tandem configuration. The ride quality was measured directly over the trailer suspension for three different load conditions, unladen, 10,000 pounds, and 20,000 pounds. We then created a bar graph for each load condition representing the total amount of energy transfer as measured underneath our line graph. A higher bar represents a greater energy transfer into the cargo and thus a poorer ride quality. As we can see, the ride quality of the steel leaf spring improves as the cargo load is increased. In order to better visualize these results, we replicated them in a test lab environment using a vibration table. Water bottles were used to simulate cargo inside the trailer, and the actual test data was loaded into the vibration table to simulate the route traveled by the test trailer. Here, you can see the effects of the energy transfer from the steel leaf suspension for all three load conditions. Lastly, we tested an air ride suspension in a closed space tandem configuration. In the unladen condition, the air suspension ride quality is significantly better than the steel leaf suspension. In the 10,000 and 20,000 pound load conditions, the air ride does provide a moderately softer ride quality versus the steel leaf spring suspension. Here, the water bottles mimic the air ride suspension energy transfer for each load condition. Finally, we can compare both of the suspensions tested for each load condition to see the relative energy transfer into the water bottles. When the trailer is in an unladen condition, each suspension exhibits different cargo protection characteristics. These tests also indicate that when the trailer is in the loaded condition, both suspensions exhibit similar cargo protection characteristics. 
With close to air ride performance in laden conditions, steel leaf spring suspensions are ideal for higher load utilization fleets seeking lower acquisition cost, lower total cost of ownership, and overall simplicity of operation. Without the need to maintain and repair shocks, leveling valves, and airbags, spring ride suspensions can have significantly reduced maintenance cost over the life of the trailer. And with ride quality equal to air ride for the majority of miles traveled in today's fleets, spring ride suspensions are becoming the best choice for many on-highway fleet operations. Air ride suspension does continue to be ideal for refrigerated and specialty trailers like tankers and bulk haulers, as well as fleets transporting delicate goods. Air ride can also make good sense for on-highway applications with low load utilization or empty backhaul, such as delivery route operations. However, as cargo is better protected and trailers are more consistently traveling at least partially laden, spring ride suspensions are now making more financial sense for fleets. SAF Holland has the expertise to assist with developing the system spec that makes the best and most profitable sense for your fleet operations.